Find the amount that results from the given investment, $100 invested at 10% compounded quarterly after a period of two years. So first thing I notice here is a keyword compounded quarterly. That's going to tell me which formula, which compound interest formula to use. And we're going to use A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT. P is the principal, R is the interest rate, T is time, N is the number of compoundings in one year, and A is the amount. So for this example, the principal is $100. We're investing $100 at an interest rate of 10%. We're going to write that 10% in decimal form. We're going, to we're going to be compounding quarterly, so that means four times a year, so n is four, for, for a period of two years. So let's substitute these values into the formula. That's a equals 100 times 1 plus 0 0.01. Hold on, do I have that right? That's wrong. Let me fix that. So 10%, we move the decimal place two places, so that's 0 0.1, 0 0.1 over 2, 0 0.1 over 4, that's our n, to the 4 times 2. So we'll put that in our calculator. That's 100 times 1 plus 0.1 divided by 4 to the 4 times 2. So after two years, that $100 turns into $121.84. And I'm rounding to two decimal places um, because we're talking about money, so I rounded to the nearest cent. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.